Dear young friends, welcome to this church-wide face-to-face. Hundreds of Latter-day Saint youth and families filled the tabernacle in Salt Lake City for what was described as the biggest face-to-face event ever hosted by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Today, we introduce the whole children and youth program. Elder Garrett W. Gong of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles unveiled details of the new children and youth program in the worldwide broadcast that was transmitted in 18 languages to more than 140 countries. It gives us the same program for youth everywhere and for children everywhere with tremendous flexibility and adaptability so that no matter where they are, no matter their circumstances, the program will work for them. The Apostle was joined by several general officers of the church who oversee the youth programs for youth between the ages of 7 and 18, including primary, young men, and young women. You too can serve others. This is a great opportunity to invite our friends. Invite them to come and see. Under the youth development part of the program, children and young men and women are encouraged to develop new talents, interests and skills, and prepare for missionary service, education, work, and family. This alignment brings unity around gospel learning not seen before. We welcome children, youth, parents, and leaders. Two youth from the Salt Lake area hosted the live broadcast. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for me, for anybody. I was so happy that I got to spend time with a general authority. The new initiative for youth will replace the church's existing children and youth programs on January 1st, 2020. I feel like it's a more personalized way to come unto the Savior. I'm really excited for the app. Like, I feel like that will help me to do my goals better. Very excited to see um, that we can unify and make a change in the world. Guest artist David Archuleta performed the 2020 youth theme song. I will make We hope very much that this will bring each child, each youth closer to their families, closer to their leaders, and especially closer to their Father in Heaven and our Savior Jesus Christ. I feel my Savior there beside